deck on the roof for this piece of junk. So anyway, no heat. Uh, I'm getting a call, but she ain't light. Got an inducer running, blower. I don't know if it's running or not. Uh, so let's see what the uh, circuit board's gonna say. So here we go. Alrighty, so we got three flashes. Um, we'll show you that in a minute, but yeah. It's cold. It's like 43 degrees today. That's why, you know, <laughs> this is my, my winter gear. But, uh, and actually these face masks kind of work to our advantage when it's super cold. It keeps your face warm. <laughs> All I gotta do is if my face gets cold, I just exhale. <laughs> oh man, the only problem is then you're smelling your breath all day. Yeah. We got, uh, I don't know if you can see that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, we got three flash. Let's see what this guy says. Three flash, three flash, three flash. Oh, there it is. Three flash. Limit switch. All right, let's check this filter and see what's up. Well, the filter's clean. It just changed uh, this month, a couple days ago, a few days ago. So, let's see if our blower works. Our burners came on. And it's lit, but check that out. The blower is not spinning. Pretty warm. It's not ridiculous, but it is kind of hot. And I can feel heat emanating from it. All right, cool. So it looks like we got either a bad control board or bad blower. So this is what I like to call a fake ECM. So we want to see if we're getting a call for the fan. So it's kind of like a regular blower where it'll have a tap specifically for what it's trying to do. Um, so we, except the only difference will be 24 volts on 120. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have this relay. This is what controls the blower motor. Uh, so this right here is heat. This is what controls, this energizes uh, 240 volts through this blue wire into here. And then from here, this is our line two, the orange wire. So it's this line two. Uh, so this right here is one and three. So that's the coil. And then um, two and four, that's our switch, right? So when we energize this, this should close. So if we look at it right now, we have our meter on continuity. It shouldn't beep, okay? So we got nothing. And then one of these wires goes to R on here for low voltage, and the other wire goes to the blower motor to energize it. So we want to make sure that this is closing first, because uh, if, if the blower motor is fine, uh, it could just be that this isn't closing. So we want to verify that first. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump out uh, R to G. We're going to energize this and make sure that closes. Here we go. Okay, I heard the click. So we want to make sure we're getting our voltage. We are getting voltage. 242 volts. Okay, we're gonna switch over to continuity and we wanna make sure our switch is closed and it is not. As you can see, the blower motor is not spinning. So I'm gonna kill the power. Now these wires here are going across on our switch. So if I do this, if I plug them into each other, the blower should turn on. So let's give this a shot. All right, and there's our blower. So it looks like we got a bad relay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and try to find a relay. I have a relay, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna handle a 240 volt coil. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I've never seen one like this that has 240 volt coil. So worst case scenario is I'm, I'm gonna keep it like this where the fan's always running, uh, but at least they'll have something until I can get a relay that works. Uh, but let me see if the, see what's going on with this relay and see what we need what kind of relay we need So it is a 240 volt coil uh, So we're definitely gonna need to order one of these guys So yeah All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of that and uh, We'll go ahead and see if we can find one So in the meantime, I'm gonna put this back in just to kind of hold the wires in place and then we'll just connect these two wires to get them going So yeah all right, so I don't know if you're curious, but this is, uh, that's what it looks like on the inside. So here's the contacts right there. 
See, so you get a, what do you call it? Magnetic field's gonna go ahead and pull that down. I think it pulls it down back here. Yep, see? So yeah, that's that's how this guy works. So the coil might be dead. Let's go ahead and ohm it out and see what's up. Okay, so we got our relay back in place. Um, so let's see what our ohm reading is. So this is our coil. So we're getting 6.86 uh, kilo ohms, which it should be about, you know, 10 to 25. So yeah, so we just don't have enough resistance to create that magnetic field. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cycle on heat. We're gonna put the side panel back on, make sure it doesn't overheat anymore. Uh, but this should just keep the fan running and on stop until I can get uh, a new relay ordered up. And then I'll come in and swap that in. So, yeah. So anyway, um, learn to read schematics. It comes in handy. Um, Cause uh, yeah, that that's, helps me get an understanding of how this thing's working. Cause uh, I think the reason why this is high voltage like that is they probably use the same board for a PSC motor. So instead of having a relay, this the uh, PSC motor plugs straight into this. So I think they just do that so they can use the same board instead of having to have two separate boards. So anyway, um, yeah. Alrighty, so we are cycling um, heat by jumping R to W. Uh, the fan is running non-stop, whether it's being called for or not. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the timer and make sure it runs for at least 15 minutes without resetting. So there we go. So here we go. Fast forward. Alrighty. She's still running. So we're going to call her good. I'm going to put it all back together. I'm going to order up a relay and we'll be back to change that relay. And then uh, I already went down and told them that, uh, you know, your fan's going to run all the time, but at least now you have heat because it is cold up here. Yeah, so it's about 40 degrees today, uh, 45. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm cold. This Cali boy is not suited for cold weather. If it's below 60, it's cold to me. So anyway, um, we're gonna put this all back together and call it a day. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And don't install a rude underachiever. <laughs> Bye.